in this lesson we're going to be learning how to get a an object back from the database so what i do is i'll delete this but actually i'm not going to delete. yeah let me delete it i'm going to delete this one and then what we want to do is we want to query an object back from the server so the first thing that we do is we'll write a query so in order to write a query we say let query equals to and it's going to be it's not going to be a pf object it's going to be a pf query and then you need to provide the class name that you want to query so which class do we want to query the only class that we've created the people so we want to create the uh, want to query the people class and then we want to query an object that we already know is id so let me copy uh, an id from here you see here there's an object id so every object you create has a unique id so i'm going to copy this id i'm going to say query dot get object so there's so many get uh, but i want to use the second one that's a get object with id you can see that but this one throws i'm going to use the one that's a get object in background with id the specular one say so get a pf object asynchronously and cause the given block with the result okay so i'm going to now put the id that i just copied here so paste the ID. Anytime you see a block, anything like this, all you have to do is just double click on it. And once you double click on it, it's going to uh, turn into these tokens. It's telling you that you're going to have two things. Either you get back a PF object or you get back an error. Both of them are optional. That's the meaning of this question mark. And then you have to write your code here. So I'm going to just call this, you need to give them a name. So it's going to be an object or it's going to be an error. And then the code goes here. So I'm going to say if error equals to nil. So that means there's no error. And then that's when I'm going to print the object. Print, uh, print object. But because object is um, because object is optional, it's gonna complain. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna initialize a a new PF object. Okay, so let's initialize a new PF object just to silence that warning. Uh, this is why I said you need to know a little bit of Swift to follow along because um, you may not understand what this means. But if you do, that's great. So now that means the object will get we're printing it from this id i can't even remember which object has this id but we're going to check in a minute so i'm going to run the code now so once it runs you can see that it's printed the result so it's mary jane that has the object id that we just used uh, let's copy another one let me copy this one and use that instead v and run the code let's see who does that id belongs to so that one belongs to mark pete age 35 so this is how you retrieve individual objects from the backend where you know the id of that object thank you